can anyone besides a superhero survive the blast of a bomb? Yep, there are real brave people whose job it is to defuse those bombs. And they're equipped to even survive a blast. They're called Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technicians. And thanks to the United States Air Force, they're bringing you this episode of Test Tube 101. When a bomb explodes, a blast wave of highly compressed air particles blasts outwards faster than the speed of sound. And this initial blast causes the most damage, although it dissipates over distance and time. After the initial blast, shrapnel, fire, and heat shoot outwards. And it's a lot of dangerous stuff to try and deflect in a suit. So how do you protect yourself from a bomb? With an advanced bomb suit. They're made of tightly woven fibers, and this actually spreads the ballistic force of a blast through the suit rather than the person. And a second layer of ballistic plates help deflect the shrapnel and fragmentation. The heat flames produced by the bomb are then neutralized by fire-resistant materials. Cause yeah, we got those. And these materials are crazy strong. For example, Kevlar is made of aramid fibers. These are synthetic fibers woven from polymers, or large molecules made from strands of smaller molecules, called monomers. This makes a plastic that can stop bullets and is five times stronger than steel. The one thing these awesome bomb suits don't come with? A cape. The United States Air Force is powered by airmen and fueled by innovation. Want to learn about other technology used by the armed forces? Check out this video about Mach Speed. The rocket-powered X-15 crazy awesome aircraft flies at an astonishing 4,520 miles per hour. That's a whopping Mach 6 or 6 times over the speed of sound. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and share.